vibrations give us the perception of solid matter. While we vibrate at a frequency, which is equivalent to the third dimension, the slight variance in the vibrational rate, while still actively in the third dimension, would put us in a different reality. What you know of yourself is very limited due to a lack of information.
the human is a being of consciousness which transcends all dimensions and who has incarnated into a human body for a short period of time. Its next incarnation may be here again or in a much higher dimension or a lower one or maybe it will not incarnate again. The point here is that higher dimension does not mean better, it is just a different place to incarnate and leads to different experiences. We exist on a number of different levels at once. Energy is made up of molecules, rotating or vibrating at various rates of speed. In this light, the universe is basically a hierarchy of energies at different orders of density. Our senses have some access to the densest form of energy, which is matter. The hierarchy of energies is interrelated and each level is sustained by the level below it. This system of energies is set neatly into a vast matrix of deeply interfaced natural laws. It is both physical and metaphysical. This matrix of energies came as a result of the initial act of creation and the subsequent effects that created the universe. In ancient Egypt this matrix of energies was identified with the Neteru, gods and goddesses. The presence of energy in everything was long recognized by the ancient Egyptians that there are cosmic energies in every stone, mineral, wood, etc. Our universe exists as a matrix of energies, all vibrating at different frequencies. Slow vibrations give us the perception of solid matter, while those that vibrate at higher rates give us the imperceptible states of being, those of spirit. It also gives credence to the theory of parallel states of being. While we vibrate at a frequency which is equivalent to the third dimension, there exists the possibility that a slight variance in the vibrational rate, while still actively in third dimension, would put us in a different reality or realm which is slightly out of step with our present state. Metaphysics seems to involve a transition from the material to the non-material world. This means new skills, new tools, and new forms of observing phenomena that are outside our normal, see, feel, or touch world of measurements must be developed so that we may experience these new states of being. Our strongly held beliefs about the nature of reality often prevent our exploration of domains of existence beyond the realm of our body and mind. Our beliefs are realized as representations of our perception of physical reality. When considered from a metaphysical view, we must realize that our perception is but one single interpretation of how physical reality is manifested. It is quite possible that it is not the only way. Does this mean that our interpretation of reality reflects the truth about nature, or are we inhabiting what is merely a joint illusion of physical reality? Take the example of time. It is a manifestation of reality created by the occurrence of linear events, for example, sunrise to sunset to sunrise again. Because these events are connected and follow each other, time is said to exist in a physical reality. However, from a metaphysical standpoint, and depending on your own perception or point of focus, events can occur in a multi-dimensional state. Sunrise to sunset then becomes a single event. This leads to the conclusion that time does not exist. To illustrate this, a person will consider time in terms of minutes, hours, days, years, and even generations. However, a tree, for example, would think of time in terms of decades, centuries, even millennia. The human concept of time is meaningless within the context of a tree's consciousness. This means that the metaphysical domains follow a different channel of reality to our own. We can access these metaphysical domains by activating a channel of communication. This channel is created when a person experiences a breakthrough or sudden realization occurring around their strongly held belief about the nature of reality. Many of history's gurus are said to have undertaken ascetic practices to cause such an epiphany to occur. There are many examples that such experiences have been reported to create a channel to the metaphysical realms. 
these new channels of communication, or states of being, allow for phenomena, such as insight, intuition, creativity, imagination, spirit vision, holistic seeing, and quantum thinking to exist. Human mastery of metaphysical realms depends on the path one takes to reach enlightenment. Einstein is said to have written a ray of light around the sun in his imagination. However, he would not have been able to formulate the theory of relativity without his education in the areas of science, mathematics, and physics. Whether da Vinci experienced similar things is unknown, but we are aware of his training and mastery of art, architecture, science, and mathematics. While most of us cannot begin to match ourselves against the intellect, knowledge, and experience of such as Einstein and da Vinci, we can begin to experience other realms by changing our perception of this one. The more we understand this, the more the metaphysical realms open to us.